You've gone pretty close to winning a, a major championship on several occasions. Which one do you look back on and say, yeah, I should have won that one? Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure should have uh, is, is the right word. Um, you know, I, I think it's, it's difficult to say, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that. Um, I would like to have obviously won Birkdale. Uh, Harrington's finish was pretty exceptional, to be honest. Uh, birdie for the last five um, was well, you know, it was just incredible. So um, that's the one which I which I really felt at the time when I hold the putt on 18, you know, the 15, 18 foot putt for par at the time. Um, I felt was you know was was my time, but it wasn't. So you know I have to look um, I have to look forward. I have to look forward to the Masters, which I've played very well. Uh, it's a golf course that we, you know, we play every year as a major uh, and one that I love to play. So I think, um, you know, certainly looking forward to getting to Augusta um, because I, I just find the place fascinating. How important is winning a major championship to you? Well, it's very important. I think uh, if you ask anybody, they, they, they'd love to win a major. Um, if I do or do, I mean, obviously, if I do, it's going to be fantastic. If I don't, yeah, it'd be, it'd be a little, little, little bit disappointing. But... Um, you know, I really feel that you know, if I keep working uh, on the right things and keep staying positive, then I'm going to have many more chances in the next five, five to ten years um, to hopefully get my hands on one. We're doing this interview in Hong Kong where you won the 2010 UBS Hong Kong Open. What is it about Asia that seems to bring out the best in you? Um, I like the people. I like the food. Um, we're here for many weeks in a row, so you get very comfortable when you when you come into town. Uh, you know you're here for a period of time, so you can relax. Um, and the golf courses kind of suit me. So uh, to obviously win in Japan in 07, and then uh, Singapore, and then Hong Kong last year, and having a chance to shoot 59. Um, you know, I've got some great memories in in this part of the world, and um, I love coming here. I'll continue to come over here, and um, I've built up a nice fan base. You launched your own fashion label, IJP Design, a few years ago. Why do you think it's so popular here in Asia? It's simple, colour. They love colour. They love being different and that, that is what they see in me and that is what they see in, in the collection. And I think it's, um, you know, it's very important for me to be over here playing golf, um, expressing my personality and IJP Design. And um, it's simple to see how and, and the reasons why they love it. Um, it's, it's quality product. Um, it's, it's fresh, it's different, uh, and that's exactly what they like, and, and that, that's exactly who they are on the golf course. They, they love colour, they like being different, and, and they love having fun. What was the family connection that got you interested in fashion? Well, my mum used to work for a clothing store. She managed that for a number of years, and um, I guess I kind of got that bit from her. Um, I love nice clothes. My dad always liked, you know, loved nice clothes, but we couldn't quite afford, you know, um, the clothes that we can afford today. So, um, you know, I've, I've always had a want, f you know, to look great. Um, and we're doing that now on the golf course and off the golf course. How much is your fashion and what you wear on the golf course an expression of who you are as a person? Well, if you see every, I mean, every, every picture of IJP design, uh, you see me. I think um, attention to detail, the colors, the tartans, um, the sweaters, the hats, it, it is all part of my character. and. Uh, it's very easy for the, you know, the design team um, to make me look good on the golf course. How often do you look back on things that you wore on the course several years ago and kind of say, oh, didn't really work? Uh, it doesn't happen. I think it's, it's all part of the story, to be honest. Um, the, how we've grown the business, how we've grown um, you know, IJP Design and Ian e e e Poulter, the golfer, has been fun from start to finish. Um, you know, there's been many outfits and um, you know, everyone I've enjoyed for, for different reasons. Why are you so outspoken when it comes to things you say about golf? Um, I, I, I don't regret stuff I say. I think uh, I give an honest opinion. Um, some people like it, some people don't. That's the right way to do it. You've got more than 1.2 million followers on Twitter, but how much do you sometimes regret the outspoken and outrageous things that you say? Uh, I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't regret anything I say, to be honest. Um, I try and uh, be me, I try and be honest, and I, you know, I try and let everyone have or see my opinion, and uh, whether they like it or don't like it, that's, that's up to them to make their decision. You're now entering your late 30s. How much do you think you've mellowed as a person? No, I, I mean, I, I still burn inside. Um, that, that, that won't ever change. Um, that is me, that's my personality, that's, that's who I am. And 
um, you know, I'm, I'm confident and, and someone that, you know, really enjoys life and enjoys what is what has been this amazing journey. Well, I mean, of course, I'm a family man. So, yeah, I mean, I, I have mellowed a little bit, but inside I'm still a big kid.